Last time, arm 100 games before you die, bucket list. Tetris effect. 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 Oh, Tetris effect. But seriously, check out Tetris effect. Wow, what a game. Yeah, there you go, that's Tetris effect. Bucket list, 100 games. Which one is next on the list? It's Angry Birds. And just like that, we have already made progress on our bucket list of gaming. One game down and 99 to go. I doubt there will probably be another game that will excite me quite like the discovery of Tetris Effect did, but I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the games are. The next game on the list isn't something that I've had a ton of personal experience with, but nonetheless found itself having an incredibly popular release back in 2009. Today I'm taking a look at Angry Birds. Now, originally launched as an app in 2009 for smartphones and tablets, Angry Birds found itself being thrown into the limelight as it broke through into the mainstream of gaming, after being downloaded to various devices over 50 million times. Pretty much anyone out there who owned a smartphone or an iPad had access to this title and probably enjoyed playing it a few times. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm talking about this title in the past tense. Well, Angry Birds today as we know it is basically totally dead. I'm sorry, there's really no other way to put it. In order to make this video I had to go through the difficult task of finding a version of Angry Birds worth actually showing off. And thankfully, unlike most titles on the bucket list, there's actually a decent PC version which allowed for this task to be over fairly quickly. Though if I'm totally honest, I kind of wish that I could find the Wii version nearby. Just to give that a quick shot, I know a game like this really would work well with motion controls but not the connect. Alright, so let's get into the game. Seems like there's a story here. This mixed race couple have lost their eggs. This small guy's kind of mad about it, but this yellow fuck has spotted these weird Grinch guys over here. Oh, apparently they're pigs. What world do you live in where pigs are green with ginger mustaches? And there's like a king with a, a guy with a helmet. This is weird. Oh, Josh, you're reading into it again. I hear you say. I sure am. What's funny is I actually decided to look into this and found quite a few websites talking about the racist undertones found in Angry Birds, but more specifically the movie. I'm talking all kinds of fish, like how the hero birds are the colours of the German flag, how America is represented by a giant eagle that literally pisses into the sea, and how a bird who acts like a mime is a reference to the Paris terror attacks. Ow. My head hurts now. Thanks, internet. The gameplay is as simple as can be. There's a pig and you gotta kill him with a suicidal kamikaze style bird attack. Apparently the pigs themselves are just so terrible at base building. I mean, take a look at the very first mission of the game. Now, what exactly is this meant to be? There's no way that it serves any kind of major purpose for the pigs. I mean, I get that it's like a tutorial mission, so they want to make it really easy for you to kind of figure out the game, but what exactly am I supposed to believe is going on here? Is the pig in some kind of watchtower, and he's watching over the birds to see if they're going to come back for the eggs? Why are the pigs stealing eggs anyway? I don't even think pigs eat eggs, or even eat chicken for that matter. But uh, talking of chickens, why do the birds even need a catapult, and why don't they use their wings? You know, that's like the one main redeeming feature of a bird, it's that it has wings, it's that it can fly majestically. Why not instead call this game Angry Chickens? That makes more sense to me if you're going to be catapulting some kind of bird using a, a slingshot type device. I mean, why not slingshot chickens instead of birds? Birds are fine. They don't need slingshots. They can fly. That's the point of birds. They can fly. Why do they need to be putting the slingshots a shot at pigs? Why are birds going after pigs anyway? Why are the pigs stealing the eggs? It doesn't make any sense to me. Why wouldn't you just call it ch Angry Chickens? Angry Chickens sounds good. Yeah, that sounds like a good game. I like the tone of Angry Chickens. That makes sense to me. Chickens are way cuter than birds. Why isn't there an Angry Chicken spin-off? I don't understand why birds are being put in slingshots and then shot at pigs. It doesn't make any sense. And now I sound like one of those crazy people who stands in the middle of the town centre ranting about Christianity. Repent! Repent! All of you! You're all going to hell because you've been putting birds into slingshots and shooting them at pigs! Ugh. 
doesn't make any sense. It's so angry. God damn it. You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. People think I'm the clone. This game made a lot of money. It made a ton of money. They even made a film about it. I just don't understand why things that are so stupid become so popular. I don't think I'm expecting too much. I don't think that me trying to put logic into something is a bad trait. I, I think that me getting emotional about something, I don't think that makes makes me a crazy person. I think that makes me normal, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna, just, you got this. Oh. oh, I don't want to talk about this game anymore. It doesn't make any sense. Who is that guy? No more clones, please. People already said you guys are distracting. Apparently you take away from the point of the videos. I don't know. It seems that compared to the first game that I took a look at in Tetris, this game probably isn't going to be as fun. This game is definitely aimed at the target audience. This game was definitely made by some gentlemen in the boardroom trying to find the target audience. And that's really easy to uh, kind of figure out if you actually look into any of the history of these games. Angry Birds went from zero to sold out in like zero to five seconds. They literally went from making a decent game that people actually enjoy to making a cash grab that includes tie-ins with Rio, Star Wars, Transformers, and then later on down the line when nobody even remembers what Angry Birds is, having its own animated movie based on the likeness of the bird characters seen in the game. Is the film itself meant to be like a cash grab? Yeah, probably, but then it's years too late. Like, years too late. It really doesn't make sense. The film... I, see, I, I kind of thought that to get into the mindset of the Angry Birds and try to kind of understand where the game's coming from, that maybe watching the film would be like a good idea. But it really wasn't, because now I'm just even more confused about the game. But the main question that I have, like I had with Tetris before it, does this concept as a whole stand up? to modern day equivalent and does it hold up in terms of actual being a game and the answer to that question is yes i believe it does see there's actually a version of angry birds that i saw many years ago that was like it was kind of like a board game kind of like mousetrap it was basically a version of the game that you have on a table and you actually build your own fortress on the table with the pigs and then you take a slingshot and you fire the Angry Birds into said fortress. That's amazing. That totally holds up in my eyes. So the concept of Angry Birds, yeah, although it's not exactly something incredibly original, they took a concept almost like Jenga in a way and turned it into a video game and it got mass appeal and everybody played it. And now it's been 10 years and we're all sitting around looking at each other going, Boy, these lines under my eyes weren't here 10 years ago. So yeah, that's about it for Angry Birds. So the only thing left for me to do at this point is now to go and scratch off the little angry board. Oh, scratch off the little angry board. Oh, so the last thing left. So the last thing left for me to do is to go and scratch off the Angry Birds sticker that's on the poster itself and see what's hidden underneath. This is me now looking for a penny. Look how tidy my desk is, guys. Aren't you proud of me? Found a penny. Let's go scratch it off. Da, 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 da. Angry Birds. Let's scratch it off like this.
guys, I will see you for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I want to take a second just to say thank you to everybody that checked out the first episode of the 100 Games Bucket List, Before You Die. I still haven't come up with a decent title for the series. Thanks to Mike and Anthony, some of my other friends, which is really, really cool. I am totally happy making these videos, sharing them between each other, and like a hundred of us all watching and sharing them about, that's totally cool. Obviously I would love for people outside of my hundred friends to watch these videos, but it's totally cool if you're watching and I'm making you laugh. That's great. I really hope that you liked this video. Um, obviously, being angry in front of camera is something that's been on YouTube for a very, very long time. There's tons of people out there like the Angry Video Game Nerd and Spoony and guys like that who have been angry on camera before me. But this is the Angry Birds review. That was my Angry Birds review. I got angry. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's not do it again. I'll see you in episode three. I'm gonna check out the Resident Evil 2 demo. Fucking kicks ass. Holy shit. What a game. <laughs>